Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at the data type Boolean. I'm going to show you the five different ways we can set its value. Let us learn the data type Boolean. We're going to start off by creating a table for this data type. Ready? We're going to say create table bool test and we'll put two uh, fields in there. We'll say a uh, letter and varchar 10 and then we will say uh, is used and we can either say bool or we could say boolean. Uh, I'm not going to keep both of them in there, but we'll uh, just comment this one out, okay? So you can remember that. And what we'll do now is create this table. It has now been successfully created. Now, once we have that table, let's do some inserts because there's a few things that we need to learn about these inserts. There are actually five different ways that we can say the value for is used. Remember, bool means uh, either a true or false or on or off or something like that. Let's see how this works. So we would say insert into bool test and then you give me the columns letter is used and then what we can do is we can say values and then open. Now the letters, I'm going to make all these true. I'm going to have five different ways. So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to say a T1 and then a comma and then watch this right here. And okay, so the first one, let's put commas up here so I don't forget that either. Okay, so uh, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so the first way we can do this is we can say true. We can also say one. We can also say yes. And we can say T. And we can say Y. Now, these are the five different ways that you can do that. Now, we're going to highlight that, make sure that works. And then let's do a select statement. And let's see what we have here. Uh, notice that we have all five statements evaluated to true. Now, it's important to know that, see these quotes around these answers? They're kind of required, except for maybe true. Because if I just come down here and say no quote around this first one, I'm going to comment out that first line. Notice we'll get an error. So what I recommend you do is when you're using the bool and you're trying to put the values in there, just make sure you use single quotes around your value and you shouldn't have any problems. Well, now that we've looked at the true statements, let's look at the false. So we just finished the true side of the equation. Now let's do the false. So notice I have my letters F1 through F5. So what is the opposite of true? So we can come say false. Let's make sure that we have the quotes around it. And then what is the opposite of one? That would be a zero. What is the opposite of yes? That would be no. What would be the opposite of T? That would be F for false. And the opposite of Y would be no, N. So let's see if this inserts correctly. Insert. And notice that was successfully. So now what we can do is this select statement. And here you can see that we have five statements that evaluated to true and five for false. And there's the source code, my friends. Five ways to do it, true and false, for the bool data type. Now that we have inserted 10 rows into our table, let's go and just query for a certain type. Notice I'll say select star from bool test, and then we'll say where, what is the name of our column? It's called is used. And then what we can do is we can use any one of these values to return a true or a false. Let's go false first, and I will say equals zero. This will return me all the rows that equate to zero, which is false. If I want to get all the true values, I can just replace zero with one. Now, I just don't have to use zero and one. I could actually use yes and no here as well. So if we want to get all the false again on a different value, we can say no, and that will evaluate to false, or we can say yes. I think you get it. We're allowed to use any one of these values to equal false. We're allowed to use any one of these values for it to equal true. And the where clause is very, very simple. 
And there you have it, team. Hey, team. And that's the end of this video. If you have any questions about the bool data type, please leave a question below. Was this video good enough to receive a thumbs up? I would kindly appreciate your participation. Okay, team, enjoy your week, and until my next video, take care.